national health care system and this is not true, it's a lie. There's currently 500,000 people who are undocumented, uninsured in this country. Half of them are in the greater Toronto area. And now with these cuts to the interim federal health program, which provides access to health care for refugees, we will essentially see the numbers of those without health insurance increase substantially as of July 1st, 2012. And this will force migrants to choose between being in debt or possible death. Under Bill C-31, the Ministry of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism will be given unprecedented powers to designate a group of refugees as irregular arrivals, who will be immediately detained. Immigration Minister Jason Kenney will also have the sole authority to name some countries as safe, creating a two-tiered immigration system where people from these designated safe countries will effectively have their files fast-tracked for deportation. We can assume that these so-called safe countries are ones that the Canadian government has favorable trade agreements with. We've also witnessed the Canadian government legislate 15% lower pay rates for migrant workers for the same work being performed by Canadian citizens. Here's an example of how racism within our immigration system is being legislated.